Make it a day with us. Second third phase, which is about to take place in Lagos. Big volleyball tour. If they're just passing by. These warriors have been happening for the past six days. Wow. 25. Beach volleyball. We have some people that you cannot do without them. Those are the pioneers. Those are the people who give cut beach volleyball to the limelight in Nigeria. We cannot do without calling the names. Coach Kayode. Presently, he is the mix of sprouts in the games of beach volleyball. Shakarao, who is not here, present. The lies of Hillary. The lies of Abayomi. Each players here present. The medical teams were too much. Back to this game. Medical teams too much. All teams. Please be in your guesses. All teams. You know, as an example, when it's only the only they play, we get that chance. It's being presented by Rao Sheba. Hey. Oh, All teams, please be in your guesses. All teams. You know, as an example, when it's only the only they play, we get that chance. In this second phase, these two teams, you saw standing, they did not lost this power. Congratulations! Okay, that's a good we'll do that. Uh, the first this cup. So far, so far, the organizers are trying to keep it. This is the second phase, the third phase of the phase. My grace goes to the president of the Nigerian World War Federation, who equally chairs as the president, the chairman of Nigerian Beach Volleyball. I give my kudos to him. This is a man that has taken volleyball with passion. He has done everything for volleyball. And I don't think there's any member that will challenge him. We have tried our best to assist but our assistants cannot equate what he has done to Nigerian Volleyball Federation. I pray that God in his name mighty will take care of him. Volleyball is a game that we like, and the beach volleyball has come to stay because of the president. Ah, beach volleyball has come to stay, coming from the board member of Nigerian Volleyball Federation there. As so Michael, we just have to appreciate the fact that here in Nigeria, beach volleyball really has come to stay. You see that particular tour taking place in Abuja, two places in Abuja rather. It was a fantastic experience for beach volleyball players over there uh, where they were able to showcase their talent. Welcome you on the show, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adini Ajishafe. We look at uh, stories straight in the world of sport, but we really want to focus on beach volleyball. And I have in the studio in the person of a national volleyball coach, uh, really as, play, as a player and now is a coach of the beach volleyball in the person of Coyote Ajidore. Good to have you, coach. 
the pleasure of having me here. Good one. Uh, we just uh, saw there what happened at the uh, Abuja uh, Volleyball yeah, Tour. Yes, the championship in Abuja. Uh, it was a fantastic experience where beach volleyballers were able to showcase their talent. Beach volleyball second trial ends in Abuja. It started in Adamawa, right? Yeah. Abuja, now it is going to Lagos. Lagos. Uh, you as a coach, national coach and all that, what have you seen so far in this competition? Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure having me here. Mm. Uh, the beach volleyball tour, this is a first of its kind in Nigeria. And the first phase started in Adamawa when the players came. Actually, the, we did not expect the numbers of the team that came. Mm. It was a great turnout. We had 17 teams in Adamawa. Why? I personally, I did not expect the number that turned out was that because of the distance. And the game in Adamawa, we were able to see some new talents, young players, and the ones that have not even played the beach volleyball before, with what they, uh, the, 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 the exhibited in Adamawa, it mm. was a great game. And coming to Abuja here, Actually, it was a great honor and a great game. Mm. It shows that the players, they are really interested in playing beach volleyball and they really want to take the beach volleyball as their number one sport. Good one there. Now, uh, uh, looking at the, the uh, beach uh, volleyball that took place in Abuja, uh, I saw a lot of improvements, uh, at least... Uh, uh, from Adamawa to Abuja, now it's going to Lagos. Yes. Uh, you said 17 teams participated. Yes. Uh, for you as a national coach, uh, you saw all the teams. So which team would you pick out that, ah, this seems, even though we know that G ranks and uh, uh, Games Village, they didn't lose any match, yes. right? right? Uh, but aside that, on your own, you are a coach. You know better about all the technical te technicality of uh, volleyball, beach volleyball. Which team will you pick out that this team, is, they, are, they are very outstanding? Actually, I would say, let me just start like this. Like the team that did not lose any game, mm. uh, Games Village team, the pair of Obayemi and Hilary, mm. I would say I will not be surprised because they, both of them, they are established beach volleyball players. They've represented Nigeria at the youth level, under 21, they played at African level and they played World Championship. Mm. And they progressed to the senior level. So I was not surprised about their performance. But uh, there are some teams that I saw. For example, uh, the Taraba team, Equity team, the, the, the young uh, Samba boys from Sokoto, They really surprised you. I was so surprised. Because like even Tarabat it, it players, this, it, yeah, it was uh, at uh, Yola. Hmm. That was the first time that I got to see them. And what they exhibited was a surprising uh, game. Hmm. So those are the things that I can see that, in fact, we have hope in this beach volleyball. OK, now that you actually mentioned the word that is hope, in beach volleyball. You saw there when uh, the CP, I uh, saw uh, Michael was saying, beach volleyball has come to stay. Yeah. And I recall the uh, Federation President, uh, uh, Musa Nimro, right. saying uh, they want to make sure they're able to qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. You as a coach, have you seen this kind of, uh, have you seen it in the players that really they want to compete to at least get to the Olympics in Paris 2024? For sure, for sure. With what I've seen so far, especially at the second phase of this beach tour. Mm. Actually, I've taken players to some tournaments, African tournaments, in which uh, some of the things that I'm seeing now, I've not been able to see it in them. But now, with the second phase of this tour, with what I've seen, the performances of the players, their dedication, uh, I can say categorically that we are ready to go. We are prepared 
to get the ticket for the France mm. Olympics. Because by the time we are able to even bring the players together to prepare them, they have enough time and they play more of this championship, definitely the sky will be our starting point. We've been talking with Coach Kayode Ajilore, who is the national volleyball coach of Nigeria, and he's here to talk about the beach volleyball development in Nigeria. I've actually exhumed this uh, story behind the tour taking place across Nigeria from Adamawa to Abuja, now going to Lagos. Uh, well, uh, out of the 17 teams, two teams stood out. They didn't lose any game. That's G-Ranks for the ladies. Actually, it's, games only, village. It's, only, it's only one team that did not lose any Okay, game. that's the so Games that Village. Games Village. That okay. not lose any games game. village uh, they have uh, Hilary and Obayemi Obushino. Yeah. Uh, these two players, are they also in the national team? Yes. Like I said earlier, that both of them, they started at the junior level. Mm. They played for Nigeria at the African uh, under 21, and also they represented Nigeria at the African under 20, uh, youth African World uh, under 21 level. Mm. So that was why I said I was not surprised with what they exhibited. I was not surprised that they did not lose any game because the way they started. The one thing is this: it is not possible, or let me not say it is not completely possible or easy for anyone to just come from anywhere to win to all come games. and beat somebody that been playing mm. that started beach volleyball that been playing beach volleyball that come to the national camp beach volleyball it cannot be easy because they've known all the rudiments everything they needed to know about the beach volleyball nobody will just come anyhow to come and beat them so that's why i'm not too surprised about their performance Good one. Now, uh, let's talk about the ladies. Uh, I saw Wuchi Lang sisters. Yes. Uh, is he Abatina or whatever? Abatina, yeah. Abatina and their sister. The two of them seem to be outstanding in this tournament. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure they are also part of the ladies' yeah. uh, national team, yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, they play for G ranks. G ranks. G ranks. Yeah. G ranks. Uh, uh, so far in this competition, I, I've seen a lot of talents uh, showcasing their talent. They've really shown that, yes, when it comes to uh, beach volleyball, really, it has come to stay for male and female. Yeah. But I, I'm sure that things that hamper this uh, particular sport, that disturb or uh, delay or at least uh, like problem facing beach volleyball. Can you outline some? Actually, I know in every facet of life, there are some problems that will surely come up. Uh, like beach volleyball, I would say the beach volleyball came later compared to the conventional volleyball that has come to stay for a long time. Mm. So one of the problems is how to be able to draw people, players from the conventional volleyball to, to come beach and play volleyball. beach volleyball. Because one, when the beach volleyball started, uh, I believe the facilities, they were not readily available. Mm. Because beach volleyball, you have to play it on the sand. While the conventional, conventional volleyball, you play it on the either the hard court or indoor. Mm. So the sand, they are not there. And definitely, it is not so easy to just bring people from where they are already in the established what they used to, they are used to, and to come and play another one. Mm. So the facilities, number one, and also uh, to just change their mind, to change their mentality, it is something that is, cannot be easily done like that. It has to take time. So those are some of the things. And again, when it started, uh, there were not a kind of uh, competition series of competition that's okay, that we kind of attract them, that we bring them from conventional volleyball to beach, the volleyball. beach volleyball. So those are some of the some of the things, the problem that we've been having. Okay, good one. Now, you played volleyball, yes. uh, at least uh, before you became a national coach, uh, beach uh, volleyball national coach. Yes. Uh, just take us, just briefly, tell us uh, the story of your, uh, be, to encourage those out there who want to go into either volleyball or beach volleyball. Thank you so much. Actually, uh, I played, I started with football. Okay. Oh, you were a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> I started with football. So it was later, it was uh, actually 
towards the end of my secondary school, that was when I now shifted to uh, volleyball. Mm. And I started from the grassroots level. I played on the 14, on the 16, before progressing to the senior level. Uh, at the, I played at the uh, 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 national level. Also, actually, for me to just uh, pick beach volleyball, it was at the point where I almost said, okay, bye-bye to volleyball. That was when the beach volleyball came. Came, and you picked. And great. I picked it. Mm. So, and along the line, thank God that engineer Nimosa Nirok came, came in. Because I would say, uh, the man is, is a God-ordained person for the beach volleyball. He came in and with his support, and that's at that time when the beach volleyball started, he became the, uh, the chairman, beach volleyball commission. As at that time, it was engin uh, engineer uh, Gume that was mm -hmm. the president of Nigeria uh, volleyball. So then, and there are, uh, I remember 2007, the, the All African Games. There was supposed to be beach volleyball at the All African Games. We were in camp. Then our late coach, Chakuma, we were in camp for almost six months. Six months, hard training. But at the end of the day, the host said there was not going to be beach volleyball there. What's the way to go? So <laughs> that was our, spirit. honestly, it was discouraging. Mm. We went back home. And later, I think some months later, there was an invitation in our, our tournament in Nigeria Republic. I be that, believe that was the first international tournament that Nigeria would uh, participate in. in beach volleyball. And myself and my partner then, I think we, because we were, we were blending the team together, myself and uh, Gulokanya Sodike, and we now, we now invited us that we should come and go for the tournament. Surprisingly, and because some of the West African countries, they've been playing the beach volleyball, and we were invited, we traveled for the tournament. Along the line, we discovered that we played and were able to win the gold medal wow. at the tournament. Again, I think two weeks or three weeks later, we were invited to, uh, uh, I think, Togo for another invitational tournament. You also won. We won the tournament. That was, was how it started, and from there, you blow. <laughs> Let me use that word. Uh, going for the musician, they blow. Well, good one. We will be having Coach uh, Kyle De Adri Loret. That's the National Beach Volleyball Coach who right now telling the story of how he started playing volleyball, beach volleyball, and also a conventional volleyball. Now, just to encourage you out there, if you want to go into beach volleyball, really, is the sport you need to go into right now because it's gathering and gaining more attention in Nigeria, and we just have to celebrate it. That's why we're focusing on beach volleyball development in Nigeria. Uh, well, coach, uh, before I let you go, just uh, one word for one word for those who are out there who want to, who want to, at least appreciate going into beach volleyball. Briefly. Yeah. I just want to encourage those players that want to go into beach volleyball. Beach volleyball is a lucrative game. And you can even see with what happened uh, yesterday, there are tippings. And it is not the game of crowd. Very easy to, to sponsor. Mm. So that's one of the things that I even discovered that there's, it is hardly you see any beach volleyball tournament that will take place that the team will not be there. So I want to encourage all the players that beach volleyball is a game to play and it's a lucrative game. I invite you to come and play the beach volleyball. Coming yeah. from Kyle De Agilore, their national beach volleyball coach, inviting you if you really want to go into that sport. It's open. You can also represent Nigeria across the globe. Now, before we go quickly, let's look at uh, two or three stories uh, to talk about. With, uh, we told you I will be unveiling all the teams participating at the World Cup today. Quickly, let's look at three of them. We quickly look at uh, highlighting 2022 World Cup team list. Poland, uh, let's start with Poland, Belgium, and Netherlands. Poland team, they will be, they will be playing. We we'll have uh, Belgium, also have Netherlands. Uh, quickly, let's look at all the teams that will be playing in this uh, tournament. We've rolled out about 10 of them uh, from last week, and now we have to start with another one this week, uh, talking about the three that will be going well. Even though you don't understand Polish, you just have to look at the names. Dragowski, Skorowski, their names always end with uh, Ski Ski. <laughs> Chesney uh, for the goalkeeper, the defense. We have Bednarek, Brzezinski, Cash, Blink, Gomny, 
uh, all the Skiski there, uh, Valeski all make that squad. You have in the midfield Belik, Frankowski, Grosiski, Kaminski, uh, Skora, Zmanski brothers uh, there, and Zeliski, yes, they are all making Zokowski also there, and you have Lewandowski, uh, Milic, Piatek, and also Swedaski. All the uh, players that will be representing Poland at the World Cup. Just roll out there. Quickly, let's go straight to look at uh, uh, Belgium team. They have uh, Courtois, Simon Mignolet. You have uh, Castells, who plays for Wolfsburg. Defenders, Alderwell is there. Arthur Schild, the Bass, Van uh, Thomas Minoa. Uh, you have uh, Castagne. You have Wout Ferris. All of them are there. Midfielder, Axel Witzel, uh, Kevin De Bruyne of Manchester City, Yuri Telemans, Yanni Carrasco, Trossard, Onana, not forgetting the Dunker, Bernard, Bernard Rada, Togan Hazard, that's the uh, brother to Eden. Forward, you have uh, Lois Openda, Eden Hazard, made that squad. You have Dry Martins, Charles De Cattleri, you have ba Michu Bashayi, former Chelsea player, Lukaku Romelu, and Jeremy Doku making that call quickly. Straight to Netherlands squad now, the Orange uh, Boys, as they call them, Dustin Bilio, uh, Norpat, and Pass there, all make the goalkeeping department. Uh, goalkeeping department there, defenders, Virgin Van Dyke, Nathan Ake, Dal uh, uh, Blind, you have uh, Timba. Dumfries, uh, Dave Bridge, Martins the lead is there, Malaysia, Freepong also playing for Netherlands uh, ring team. We defeat that you have Frankie De Jong, Frank, uh, Steven Bayers, Klassen, Comenas, uh, Gapo, Deron Taylor, and Simons all make it in the midfield. Forward Memphis Depay, Steven Bagwin, Vincent Janssen, De Jong Luke, you have Noah Lang, and also Wehurst or making the Netherlands, uh, that's the Dutch Orient team, as they call them, on Billing 3 for you today. We'll be giving you more before the World Cup starts. It's, it's buzzing right now. World Cup is in the air. Qatar 2022 on Sunday, it will begin. And quickly before we go, just two transfer story. Borussia Dortmund hierarchy to hold talks with midfielder Jude Bellingham linked with several European top side. And you have uh, Barcelona with push for midfielder Elke Gondohan from Manchester City in January. Well, they want this guy, but it's going to be difficult because Manchester City may not want to drop this particular player to go to Barcelona. They just have to work out if they have to sign Ikegon Doha from Manchester City. Giving you those stories quickly before we wrap it up. Uh, Coach uh, Kyle Aguilera, I want to appreciate your time uh, for coming on the show. My pleasure. Good one there. Kyle Aguilera is a national beach volleyball coach and he has been talking concerning beach volleyball development in Nigeria uh, right now. Well, I have to go now. I am at Deni Yi at Sport. It's always business and fitness. Thanks for watching. <laughs>